after putting out my last video, uh, one of the sharpeners had written and asked me to do a van tour of my van. Um, I will do that here in the near future, but for the moment I figured I'd throw this video up of a van tour that I did for a gentleman named Tyler Moyer. He's a sharpener who's based out of Colorado, and he's got an incredible unit that you need to see. The majority of the work that he actually does is for groomers, so he needs a bigger rig like the one that he has in order to be able to fulfill the responsibilities that he has while he's out on the road, and I thought you'd like to see it. Uh, this particular episode, though, is going to be sponsored by the Edge Pro. The Edge Pro is one of the suppliers for the sharpeners in, in this industry to be able to get parts for clippers, uh, clipper blades, and other sundries that you're going to need in order to be able to service the grooming side of what we do as sharpeners. So, I'm going to get back to doing some blades here on the CS201, uh, which is one of the machines that I do sell. Um, it's also available through Edge Pro. Edge Pro are the ones that make this. And then, of course, if you have any questions about any of this, contact information for myself will be below, as well as contact information for Edge Pro. There'll also be a link to their YouTube channel. They put a lot of videos out that help us as sharpeners with both sharpening and also they put a lot of information out as well concerning all the different products that they sell so that we can build our product knowledge up. So thank you to them, and we hope that you enjoy this. Hey Smokey, how you doing? So here we are at the gathering and we're taking a look at another van and this is Tyler. Tyler, so, Colorado. Alright, very good. So what an incredible rig you have here. This thing is absolutely stunning. I love the setup that you've got and how big it is, all the room that you have in here. So tell me a little bit about what you do and tell me a little bit about the setup and um, you know all the different especially some of the, the container unit that you have here as far as the cabinet system that you have. Yeah, well, this is just a Sam's Club deal. They all open, this is Smokey's drawer, mm -hmm. all treats. Nice. They all open, just got everything labeled. And yeah, Sam's Club. Terrific. Pretty cheap, took a while to put together. That's the only downfall. Yeah. And now I built this uh, display cabinet for the groomers. I got my blades, scissors, they slide. We got more stuff. Ah, oh, neat. This is not all done yet. I'm traveling. Yeah. So there's going to be more shelves, more stuff up here. I'll make a video on that eventually, too. Terrific. I love, too, how you have the um, setup in here with the ring sizers and the two holders. Yes, it keeps, it doesn't rattle at all. Right. Can, and on top of that, it adds color, too. It's yeah, just it's dynamite. Pretty. So, I mean, it really, it's it's a beautiful setup that you've got. I see you have the Adams machine. I do have We're the doing flat machine. Honing. Yeah, I like that a lot. So. It's a great machine. And right. I like I like the um, the holder that you have up here. Where'd you get that holder from? This I got this from Alex. Alex Lee. Yep. Alex so you can buy Lee. those individually. Yeah. If you want to be so able to add that. That'll eventually go on the wall here. Yep. But I just got it. You know, Excellent. He just showed up to the gathering. Terrific. Got the Nebraska machine. Yep. Air compressor on a reel, so yep. I can blow out the van, fill nice. up my tires if I need to. Compressors you... in the back. Oh, terrific. Yep. So you've got your um, test clipper there too, it looks like. Yep, that's the test clipper with the cord facing down so you don't break your cord. Yep. Demagnetizers, yep. everything, paint cans, everything's got to be strapped down. Yep. So cans to clean the chemicals. Gotcha. What chemicals Vacuum. do you use for the cleaning? Paint, uh, odorless mineral spirits gotcha. and then denatured alcohol. Great. And these things are great. You can get them from Harbor Freight. Just keep all my parts in there, the ones I use a lot. And what's this clamp mechanism in the ice oh. maker? That's my uh, cell phone deal. Oh, very good. So to make that my videos there. Terrific. Dynamite. Everything. I love how that looks. Actually, I'll need to talk to you about that one because I need to get something like that for myself. So you have the air conditioner that you're running back here. Yeah. As well. So and how does that do as far as the BTUs? Does it, is it enough yeah, to be able to take care of what you need? 8,000 BTUs. Keeps it cool in here. Um, but yeah, so that way I don't have to run the engine of the, the car. Right. I just run the generator. Powers it all. And it's a 7,000 watt Onan Cummins generator, so I don't have to worry about power at all. Do you just run it certain times of the year and then, then use, well, it doesn't look like you have a roof fan here, you just have the emergency. This exit. will, I actually just ripped this off this morning, uh -huh. broke, got caught on a wire. Yep. And you can see it's all zip tied down. Yeah, 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 see that. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to put a fan in that. Okay, good. So, but yeah, I'm in Colorado, so it gets hot, you know, right. 
two, three months, and then the rest of the year it's pretty cool. The rest of the year is pretty there. easy. And it's all insulated in the walls and everything. Terrific. So you've did you do all the insulation yourself, or was that in most of this already? Because this, this stuff was behind a... the actual walls, but yeah, all this is is okay. there. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. And then you know finishing touches, but I wanted to yep. get it up here to be gathering vacuum. That's right. So you yeah. got this is just plugged in right now because we're taking care of Smokey here to make sure yep. he's got a conditioned place during the show. How about this unit here for, I'm assuming this is that you're using for your knife sharpening? Yes, yep. and I don't have too much experience on it yet, yep. but I like it. It mm -hmm. seems very versatile mm -hmm. and yeah, it's smooth, very smooth machine. Yep. Talk to Cliff Curry if you're curious about it. Yep. He knows much more. Um, yeah, variable speed and reversible. Nice. It's a very nice machine. Excellent. But what I'm really most blown away with is this, this cabinet that you've got for yes. display, because that's just a brilliant idea. It gives you the opportunity to be actually be able to showcase what you're doing. Um, we'll walk around the back in a second so we can take a look at the generator and some of the electrical hookup that you have. Yeah. But, you know, you've got your driver's seat there. How is this thing on gas as far as economy is concerned? About 12. About 12? That's surprising. I think yeah. it would be less than that. So. The trans I just had a new transmission put in, okay. and before that it was like eight and a half, mm -hmm. so that was pretty bad. But yeah. once the transmission and torque converter got replaced, it's back up to eleven twelve. Okay, neat. so that's highway. So, Good, yeah. Yeah. And you actually you do a confined well you don't do a confined area you travel around but you're not you're not traveling long long distances. No, I'm doing. shrinking my area as I go, trying Good. to get it down, keep yeah. up the quality of work, shrink it down. Yep. People want to come see me, they can. Smart way to do it, and I see that you have your reverse cameras as well, yeah. which is a neat addition that you've done. So, so tell me a little bit more about that. Hooked up to the uh, the dome light. Okay. So I just took there's a dome light here, just yep. and that's how I power it all. And you can see, so I have one on each side, and that's yep. really good. If I ever put a trailer back, I could see the trailer. Yep. And that's about eight feet from okay. there to there, and then I got one inside. So inside, so that you can actually see me there filming yeah. the. <laughs> Exactly. So that's neat, and you, I guess and you have the cords. you have this in case something falls or if something goes on back here. If you yep. just keep an eye on things, exactly. great. Smokey walking around. Yep. Or when on. I'm working, keep an eye on the baby. The it's a baby yep. monitor. And this will I left this on by accident one night, yep. and it didn't kill the battery or nothing, okay. and it, it records. So if someone would have broken, I would have had them on camera. So nice. that was kind of nice. Even better. Let's yeah. walk around to the back if that's okay. Of course. We'll be back, buddy. Got the swamp back here. Yeah, I know. Oh crap, that's right. It is kind of. Yeah. So there's the generator exhaust. Yep. Shore power too. Yep. Yep. And then the shore power, yeah. And then this is messy too. Yep. But I'm going to be building shelves up here. Uh huh. This is all stuff from traveling. Yep. And got the. Uh, Electrical box set up. wired in the system that you have here. Yeah. As far as your breaker system and then the relay system that you have there. Yeah, and there's an inverter and stuff over there. Yep. I don't know too much what that does. Right. But that, I guess that just powers off whatever battery system that you're using, but really yeah. for the most part. So you I do. think that will power the fan for the AC, but yep. to actually run this AC, I have to have the front running. Right. Impressive. Yep. Uh, it's a work in progress. Yep. Another month or so, it should be pretty much done. Nice, so well, cool. I mean, it's an amazing setup that you have. It's beautiful and it's perfect, especially with what you do because you specialize in groomers. So, yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. having you the extra space, space can be nice. Yep. Well, Dynamite, well, thank That's you very good. much. I appreciate sure. it. Thanks, right. Jim. Thanks. Now that we've finished up the tour of Tyler's rig, if you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, all of my contact information will be in the description of the video below. And uh, please, by all means, reach out to me. I appreciate you and hope that you all have a great new year. We'll see you.